and welcome back to another one. Today I'm gonna to show you guys something really, really simple um, that should help your uh, buffering on your fire stick if you're having any issues. Now, some of you guys have gone through some of these steps before, some of you guys probably don't know, but we're gonna go through it anyway. And as always, Amazon actually is having a sale on their fire stick. I think it's either save 10 bucks or 20 bucks. I forget what it is. I know there's a coupon code that you could use. Check the description below. I will have you guys hooked up. Now, before we really, really dive straight into this thing, I am gonna be using the 4K Fire Stick. There it is right there. And the I, I did use that code. I ended up getting a discount on it. Um, it still has the old remote. It doesn't have all those crazy buttons, but you know what? I actually kind of prefer the older remote versus the new one. So one of the first things I am going to talk about is you get this in the package. Now, here's the thing with this thing. A lot of people don't use this, and I'm actually really surprised. Um, I had some people say like, hey, I'm buffering on my fire stick a lot. What do I do to fix it? That's always the question. How do I fix my, my, my buffering? Now, this comes with your 4K fire stick, with your fire stick light, um, with your third gen fire stick now if you did not get one of these you probably have an older fire stick or i don't know why you didn't get one of these but um it should come with your device now here is the hdmi male and then hdmi female so what you do is you grab your fire stick and you plug it into the hdmi female right there like this and now you have an extension now a lot of people this is the reason why i say you should use this when you plug this into your TV just like that, sometimes it's a little bit too close to your TV and there isn't much signal that's being bounced over. Um, sometimes when the Wi-Fi signal is coming through, it bounces right off and you get a really, really weak, weak signal. Once you get something like this, the extender, what I typically say is when you plug it in, because most TVs, um, they'll have them plug in either, either down like this or right up against it. What I do is I plug it in and then I bend it so that way it, it's sticking out like this. Um, this is the best way to do it. Now, if you don't have too much room between your wall and your, your TV, then when you do plug it in, try not to put it right up against it. Try to push it a little bit out so that way it's not right up against either the wall or the TV. Uh, maybe even leave it at an angle. So that way all the, 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 the antennas could pick up a good signal. Now I'm gonna show you guys another trick right now. Okay, so let's come over to the fire stick here itself. So here we go. And yeah, there is a lot of stuff happening here. Lots and lots of stuff happening here. So the first thing I like to do is I like to go all the way to the far right and like to go to settings, come down. And there's a couple things here that you want to do. So display and sounds is the first one. The first one I want to go to is display. So you got all types of options here. So the first one I like to do is go to notifications. Now, when you do go to notifications, you will get a little thing here at the very bottom that says options. So go ahead and click on that button on your remote and you want to go into settings. Now you could do do not disturb turned off or turned on. I don't want to get any kind of app notifications, anything like that. Now, when I do go to app notifications, this will just be like in general, but you also need to do this for app notifications for all the individual stuff. So if you do have, um, if you make notifications and, st and announcements, stuff like that, you want to turn them all off here. So if you got stuff like Disney Plus, Hulu, Plex, or YouTube, and they're just popping up notifications, that's where you want to turn them off. Now, backing up here, uh, we want to go back here to preferences. Now, come over here all the way to preferences and click on that. Now, a couple things here. You want to go to uh, privacy settings device usage data you this uses your personal data for marketing i turn this stuff off and collect app usage data again turn this stuff off all this stuff interest based ads um, a lot of this stuff is going to be just things that they gather information to blast you with so i'm going to just turn all this stuff off um, data monitoring another thing make sure that's off notification settings again this is where we were just at and um, featured content allow video autoplay i turn this off and allow audio auto autoplay what that is those two those two things here um, if you hit the home button this thing here at the top where it says bombshell epics watch now that thing right there will start to play a video sometimes we'll even play music and then if you come down here 
sometimes if you're hovering over some of these apps or some of these movies or shows, it will do the same thing. It'll start playing like a little snip of uh, of, of, of the uh, you know clip, really, of the movie or show, and then do an audio along with that clip. So those are the few little, I told you I was going to make the video short. I wanted to show you guys just a couple basic stuff. Turn off those settings. Use that dongle that you get with your device. And those are just some of the basic stuff that you could do with your actual Fire Stick. Now, if you are running a speed test, the speed test has to be done on the Fire Stick. Sometimes these apps do carry um, like, like a speed test that you can do. So... Do it on the stick. If you're over here on your cell phone, you're like, okay, I ran a speed test and the, my speed is showing. It's not the same as your Fire Stick. It's two different devices and you're, it's two access points. So make sure you do it on the actual Fire Stick itself. With that being said, some of the most easiest things to do is unplug your modem and router, plug it back in, and that should help reset any kind of issues you're having. Um, and if you're not, you might need to replace your modem and router it just depends. So it's a lot of different steps, but as far as your fire stick go, those are some of the stuff that you could actually minimize to stop buffering on the fire stick itself. And it will go a long way. Believe me on that. So with all that being said, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Did I miss any kind of setting or anything that I should have done on the fire stick? Let us know in the comment section below. And yeah, with all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.